Hey, how's it going, 234S man? What's up? Alright, so we're going to set up the axe first, and then we're going to go over the other elements. Alright, so let's see here. We are headed right into the spring, so right now it's chilly out, but supposedly we're going to start getting the warm weather next week. For some odd reason, it's been really, really late with uh, getting the spring weather. Okay. I need this warm weather to hit. Getting tired of this crap. Yeah, so it's gonna be. Hey, Raz, we're gonna have this piece up front. So I did some notching in here because this way, when I put some glue in there, it holds it better. So it's gonna be a little tricky, but we'll get it to work. And then we'll lock it in with some A's. Hey Hulk Smash. Alright, so a couple ways of doing this. One, I'm thinking I just squeeze glue in here and sort of twist it to where I want it. And that should help lock it in place. So I did prep up the axe a little bit, I did some texture around the axe here, um, just kind of made it look worn and weathered, because uh, I figured once we paint it up in the steel and I add some wash to it, really kind of dirty it up. So it should look pretty good. Alright, so the axe is going to go like that, so let's squeeze this in from here. Twist it a bit. Let's put it on her hand. So we want the axe just like that angle. Let's put some insta set. before I get glue all over the glue tube. That should hold in pretty well. And throw some A's in there anyway. It's coming along. I did some more prep work today too on the other elements. So I'm actually flu prepared today.
Hey Chris, how you doing? Alright, so it's not super pretty in there, but you're not really going to see it much. And I'd rather lock it into place than make it not locked into place. And I'm always, uh, every day is kind of Friday for me. Always working. Alright, so let's, uh, put some leaves in here. What the hell happened to my tool? Oh, pizza day. Okay, that's that I can understand. That's usually the pizza day for me too. Although not today, but usually Do you just get the plain pizza? Do you get anything special? Mine's favorite sausage and olives. I miss pizza from up north. So ever since I moved down to South Jersey, the pizza's crap. Uh, the pizza up North Jersey was the best. Stuff down south is eh. Vegetarian. Oh, don't say that. Yeah, I mean, uh, vegetarian pizza is not pizza. It's just uh, bread with uh, veggies, right? <laughs> uh, Hulk Smash, what do you mean uh, go to a, a free or cheap? You mean just for STL files? One second.
<sighs> um, I I guess you could find STL files anywhere, really. I mean, it all depends on if you get it and then you want it to work. Raz is the one that knows all that stuff. He actually posted a link a while back of a lot of files on uh, his DeviantArt page. Um, I think I saved his link. I'll post it right now. I think I saved your uh, link, Raz. I'm pretty sure I saved it in my uh, favorites folder. There we go. Yeah, so that's the link Raz has. Um, bunch of stuff there. I think, uh, Raz, didn't you say some of it needs to be updated, though? Hey, what's up, Iceman? Busy week for me. Hopefully things are going good for you.
Yeah, I was kind of curious what happened with that, because I know you haven't posted much on Instagram or anything. I guess you've just been busy. Which is good. Alright, that's going to look weird until I sand it down, but at least, so this handle is going to be tied with rope. So that looks weird, but once I kind of sand it down and tweak it a bit and even it out, it should look a little bit better. I 
and then this is going to get wrapped around with black rope so it's look like a good broad axe type thing. Hey Scott. going to set this aside and I'm going to show you guys what I did with the shin guards. Okay, so, finally had a chance this week to figure out what to do. So, what I came up with is, I sanded these down a little bit more, just to take down the thickness. And I had extra eaves, and I wrapped it around, like, some around handle, and I let it cure. And then I cut it up, and I glued it here. And then from there, I did all these notches things, so this way, this could be painted separate and then glued in. So these are like flaps for the front of her uh, ankle parts. It's kind of what I came up with for that. It's kind of what I envisioned from the beginning. But because I shaved this down a little bit, it's not as big. And it kind of just wraps a little bit more. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, I wanna make it look like these flaps actually rotate. So what I did is I notched out pieces on each side and I'm going to put this piece in here like that and then sort of make it look like it's uh, sort of goes up and down. So it will go around the back of her like that. Something like that. So that's kind of what I came up with for this. Now the reason why I thickened all this up and put this here is because um, it's easier to be able to paint it and just kind of like glue it in at the end so I don't have to worry about this trying to paint this while it's on there. So we're going to start gluing these pieces in the edges and that should look a little bit better than when I had I mean I'll fill this in with some A's to make it look like something but for right now this is what's gonna work So we look like that, sort of.
Iceman, you want me to po post your Twitter? Because uh, I can't really post anything on YouTube chat because it's a nightmare. No, links don't work on my chat. I have to make mods and all that stuff, which I don't feel like doing. <laughs> That's your uh, Twitter, so from there, uh, you guys can message him and see what other links he has and stuff. Yeah, uh, everything has been printed. Um, it's just waiting for it to come from Canada. My friend sent it out. He had to print up a bunch of stuff for me, though. I had to, uh, oops. I had to print up some stuff for that original character stuff. Um, we had to print out the hand for Wonder Woman. So, yeah, there was a few things that had to be printed. So, it took him a little while to get it all done. It's better to do it all in one shot and then uh, send it out.
And once I get them, we can get back on to uh, Giganta. Start getting that base together. Get Wonder Woman's hand together. So if it all plans out right, I'll be able to paint both of them at the same time. So it'll just be like Fridays of painting for like a month or so. Anything uh, you're printing that is original stuff or video game stuff? Oh, the axe would look awesome. I don't know the other weapon, but the axe would look sick. That sounds pretty cool. If you got a chance, uh, send a picture or post it on uh, Twitter or something. I'd like to check it out. I used to own the, the set of uh, God of War the weapons. 
Um, they were made from that um, that company that makes a lot of uh, swords and stuff. I forget the name. They were just too damn big for my uh, collection room, so I had to get rid of them. Although I did order the Bayonetta gun from uh, First Figure. Was it Figure 4 Arch or something? I forget. I had to at least get one of the guns. Yeah, later on and after the stream, I'll check them out. Alright, so, so far that's looking way better than when I had last week. And it's getting hot. Looks a little better now. Maybe I'll add some more stuff to here or scratches or something when it's all set up. I gotta prime it though. But at least, uh, looks better than before. You can kind of see a little bit of the difference from the original. Uh, so, so this is the original and you can kind of see how what I shaped the sides of it and I rounded up the top a little bit more so it doesn't stick out as much so I did it to both of them So let's do this one. Hey, raccoon. Yeah, I'm not good with armor, but I'm kind of happy with the way I came up with it. Armor is a little bit tricky for me. But it's fun doing this stuff. So I guess I'll talk about the um, Harley Quinn that's next up in line after these two. So the way it's going to work is the Patrons are all going to come up with a what if. Harley Quinn in anything. It could be uh, a construction worker, it could be a policewoman, it could be a chef, uh, it could be a Sailor Moon outfit, uh, it could be from a video game. Um, whatever they want to do, and then what we're going to do is, on stream, all the suggestions we're going to put in a hat, and I'll pull out like four. And then from there, the patrons can, uh, vote for which one they want to see done. So this is all, all up in the air with the Harley Quinn next. Um, you know, it could be from an old 80s, uh, music group outfit. It could be, uh... 
you know, Harley Quinn dressed as one of the Flintstones. Um, so I'm leaving it completely up to the patrons to come up with an idea for the Harley Quinn. So they got to think outside the box on this. You know, it could be even a crossing guard for like a bus stop. And then you could take the mallet off the top of it and you could put like a stop sign, something like that. So that's kind of the idea what we're going to do for Harley Quinn next. It's a while before we start her, but I'm just starting to prep everybody now. Get them to think about what they would like to see done. I think uh, after I work on Wonder Woman, what we'll do is we'll pop her out and we'll pull off the cloth. This way, next time I'm in the garage doing work, I can actually start prepping her a little at a time. Not really, uh, Raccoon. Um, you gotta really think about outside the box. I mean, we'll brainstorm, but like I said, say you, uh, um, say you want to come up with a Walking Dead version of Harley Quinn. Uh, you take off the mallet and you could put up, like, uh, you know, like a sword or, uh, something you would find, like, on a street. Um, say you want to do a construction worker, so instead of the mallet, on the end of the stick, you could put a cinder block. You know, um, like if you want to make it a police woman, we could take off the mallet and make a really crazy baton, you know, like a really crazy thick baton, you know, so it just, it's comical, you know what I'm saying? Nagin, who's that? You know, you can't rule out stuff that you saw in, um, you know, like, uh, old, uh, 80s, uh, Megan from Walking Dead. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, see, I stopped Walking, uh, Walking Dead at Season 3, I think, or Season 2. But yeah, something like that, if you wanted to go that route. You know, if you wanted Harley Quinn in a cheerleader outfit. Lots of ideas that could be done. It all depends on what you like. You know, um, you know, if you like video game stuff too. Um, like, like say, uh, you want her in a Super Mario outfit, um, well, the idea is not to actually make exactly the same thing, but to give the idea that it is like, you know, that character from whatever, you know? Say you want to go with a uh, MC Hammer with parachute pants, <laughs> you know, something weird.
There you go, Dream of Genie. There's something that's something out there I never would have thought of. You know? You could put her in a Star Trek outfit. Uh you could put her in um you know it's 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 whatever you could come up with, that's the whole plan. I'm hoping people really think of stuff like that, you know, really go off book on it instead of the same stuff we see over and over, you know. But it's up to you guys. Yeah, WWE stuff too. You know, you can make her a weird wrestler. You know, um, uh, you, uh, like I said, Harley, you can make anything, man. You really go off book. One second. I'm going to shill my uh, Patreon right now. So if anyone's interested to support me with Patreon, be able to vote for the Harley. I know, I went there, I had to, but, yeah, you know, Iceman, you could do stuff like that, you know, um, uh, I mean, you could do like Freddy Krueger or Jason outfits, but, you know, Kota Buki is already doing that with those little Kota, uh, Bushido, uh, characters. But I mean, you could make Harley Quinn into a Street Fighter outfit, a uh, Mortal Kombat outfit, um, you know, what else is out there? Uh, you know, like, I made a suggestion, you know, uh, Eric Pride, uh, uh, Call On Me video, where they're all in those, uh, 80s spandex, uh, workout outfits. You know, you could go that route with it. Just kind of really just think outside the box. Yeah, Tekken outfits, SNK outfits, um, you know, One Piece, Naruto, uh... There's lots of options. It's just a matter of what people come up with. You know, you got the Jetsons, you got uh, Flintstones, Scooby Doo, you got, uh, man, there's so many other uh, cartoon character outfits. Because believe it or not, Harley Quinn could probably will be able to be in any of those, and it probably would work. She's crazy, so.
Well, that's the thing, Raccoon. Whatever you come up with, uh, will simplify it, you know? It won't be as complex, you know? Like, something like Bayonetta would be really complex to do, so we would have to sort of simplify it so it's not as detailed, but you can tell it's like she's trying to be Bayonetta, you know? Um... And whatever character you pick, we'll have to utilize the mallet in some way. You know, if we keep the mallet, we keep the mallet. If it, uh, if it's another character, like, say, um, say, like, you pick one of the Jetsons and we do a weird Jetson outfit, uh, instead of a mallet, we could do, like, a little spaceship at the end. Um, I, like I said, as far as outsourcing anything, I like to just stick to the mallet, you know, maybe print something out and just attach it to the top and then we're done. But I'm pretty sure I can uh, come up with something and simplify it a little bit and make it work. And I want to stay away from like the comic book stuff, you know, try to try to really go off key with it. I don't know, just thought it would be something fun to do. Come up with some wacky stuff. Alright, so this is where we're at with the shin guards. I like these better. I think it fits a little bit better now. Yeah, the, 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 when she was the, um, doctor outfit we could do, but I would actually want to go off book and make her look like a crazy secretary instead, you know? It can make the outfit a little bit kinky. Like I said, we, I don't mind doing a little kinky stuff with the outfits, just nothing that'll get you kicked off of, like, YouTube, you know? So I just gotta do a little chopping and that stuff should be fine. Alright, now on to her sashes. Alright. Let's get over here. Alright, so I did chop up this morning this back part here, uh, and I did sort of tweak the sash a bit. I'm gonna go over this in a second, just uh, check this email for the client. Okay. Alright, so what I did is I drummed out holes on these pieces because, like I said, that if you're not careful, what'll happen is uh, it'll split. So when I drilled this one and I drilled this one, the aves came off the uh, peak. So I had to put some extra aves here. But at least now when I layer this part down, it should kind of help these pieces lock this together. Not perfect, but enough. So what I want to do today is start this part here. So as you can see, I want to make this sort of a magnet removable piece because trying to leave this on here will snap. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of get some magic sculpt to put magic sculpt around here and sort of kind of create a basic shape. And then what I'll do is I'll shave it down here and get this nice and clean because it's going to go a little bit wider too. It's going to come over here. 
it's going to come over here so it's going to layer it and then what I'll do is once this is shaped out I could put eaves in here and I can squeeze this on and in this way I can make this removable so it's going to be a a little bit of a process because these uh, these walls here they can't be at an angle this way they have to be angled in different directions so this slides in so it's better to shape this key up at angles than to try to shape in here when I can just squeeze it in and pop it out um, I, I would like it up higher but the only pro I might have to tweak it a bit because I want to put magnets in here so some of this rod might get like ripped off so what I'll do is I'll try to put it up there a little bit in the middle than down here because you might snap it off you know so we'll kind of put it up there so that'll be the start of that now on to this one which is a little bit trickier uh, so what I did is I drummled this out and I need to kind of put it down a little bit more and what I need to do is sort of build this out first get this all nice and clean get the underneath nice and clean and then what I'll do is I'll attach this and then I'll seam it up underneath the belt this should lock in fine here without making this removable it'll just be a little bit tricky to get some paint in there but it'll work trying to make this removable with this piece here is just going to be way too much work I'd rather just kind of attach it it'll be tricky to get in here with paint like the squiggly lines but we'll make it work somehow it won't be the end of the world I can even go a little bit nah her hair we'll go this we'll, you know what we'll do we'll go this far like there so this way I'll be able to get paint underneath if this was going to be mass produced then I would say yeah you need to make it removable so what we're going to do now is we'll roll out a little bit more eaves we'll roll it on here we'll lock this in and then I'll shave all this down someday and clean this up but we're going to work on this key first with some uh, magic scope, but let's mix out the A's first. Reason why I'm making the back piece magnetized is because uh, this this attached to that, and then packing and shipping, you're just asking for damages. But just making this like with a magnet will make life easier. So I have a Dremel tool that's a saw. It's like a little mini saw blade on there. I, I sawed it here, sawed it here, here, and here. Got to be very careful because if you don't have a good grip on the items and you slip, that thing comes right toward you. So I took my time doing that. need a lot for underneath but enough that help lock it
Well, Raccoon, when we, when we start the voting, when I make the post, I'll put all those guidelines in there for everyone. You know, if you're going to say, uh, do a jet, uh, Flintstones outfit, which outfit? Are we doing, like, uh, Barney's? Are we doing, uh, Fred's? Are you doing Wilma's? You know? So I'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll put all those guidelines in there when we're ready to vote. I just want people to start thinking more ideas, that's all. I hope everyone gets involved, too. That's, I hope we get a lot of votes, because if it's just four people, then, well, we just got to pick on one of those four. Let me go roll this out real quick. You know, another, another thing people never even thought of, I'll, I'll throw out the idea, is like Garbage Pail Kids, you know? Garbage Pail Kids have tons of outfits, you know? You can do like, pick up one of those outfits you, or one of those designs off of Garbage Pail Kids. You can even go really crazy, like Atom Bomb from Gar Garbage Pail Kids. Put her in that outfit, but on her head, make it look like the bomb is coming out of her head, you know? That's a little bit crazy complex, but it would look weird as shit. So the options are out there. Just got to see what people, see what they come up with. You know, and there's also, you got cartoon shows like, uh, Sea Lab 2020, Harry Birdman, uh, Venture Brothers, Archer, you know, there's a lot of cool designs in those cartoons too, could even do, uh, give her a Venture Brothers outfit. I have no clue what you're talking about, Iceman. There was a Birdman uh, movie? Thank you. 
gonna have to do some serious shaping on this, but the base thing is ready to go. I had no clue. I'll have to look into it. That's a good start for that. I can tweak that another day. Some safety solvent on this, see how it works. Okay. Let's see if we can make this work on this piece. So let's.
I've been experimenting a little bit more with the safety solvent on uh, Magic Sculpt. So far, I haven't seen any issues with it, so. The idea is sort of to start. It's gonna get chopped up a lot, but. Hey Rukin, how's it going? Eh, not missing a hell of a lot. Just plugging away on these items. Iceman, you're talking about this? Uh, this works. It's just a matter of kind of lining it up correctly with the magic sculpt. Like I said, I'll sand it down and shape it better, but it'll, uh, you know, so basically I'm starting to create the shape for that. I, and I'll do some baby powder too. Hey Jose. Uh, the reason why I made this in metal is because if this is magnetized and you pop this in and out, um, if you just have Aves or Magiscope there uh, over time or not being careful, you'll snap it. So by putting metal with a layer of Aves here and a layer of Aves here, it'll make it more durable to pop it in and out. The same thing with this piece here that's going to be going in the front. It's got metal. That's called an armature. The old, you know, the old way. Just uh, to make it more sturdy. Oh, okay, Iceman, I'm sorry. Well, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'm going to go in the garage and throw baby powder on this so I can squeeze this on more so it won't stick. I just don't want to put the baby powder all over the studio. So what we'll do is 
we'll kind of squeeze this in here more. I'm starting to get a little bit of a key. I'll put some more baby powder on it. So you can see how it's looking. So that is a good starting point for what I'm looking to do. But, what I want to do is take this off some more. So what's happening is this piece right here is kitten. So what we'll do is we'll pull this in a little bit more. But what I'll do is once it's cured, I'll uh, I'll sand it down a little bit more and tune it up. And I might have to throw a little bit of uh, Aves on it to kind of clean it. But it'll uh, we'll get a basic good key. I'm not really great with making removable parts like this, so I'm still kind of learning as I go. So my my stuff is always going to look messy as shit. But after tweaking and playing with it and fine tuning it, it should look okay. Like this part isn't like even, uh, so what I might do is like throw some Aves on it when I sand it down and make a nice, nice good key. And then once this is perfect the way I want it, I'll squeeze it, I'll put Aves in here and squeeze it and I'll make a better key in there. Now it doesn't have to be that thick either. As long as we have good strong magnets here and strong magnets there, it'll work. So since I got some extra Aves, I might even roll out some Aves on here kind of like get it all done in one shot or it might not push my luck we'll see a little more baby powder real quick
good start. So what I'll do is I'll let this sort of sit for a bit. And then once it cures up and gets tougher, I'll throw on some more baby powder and make sure it's, you know, working pretty well. And I'll, you know, see how that works. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. So you just put that aside and go from there. So that's kind of how I start keys, I guess you could say. All right, so there's one other thing I was thinking about the base, unless I save it. Um, I don't. I have to look uh, before I use this. Um, I don't know if these went up in price. So I, I have an old letter opener from uh, Wonder Woman. I don't know if. Anybody have a chance to look on eBay if these went up in price? They're like uh, Wonder Woman letter openers. They're good for customs. I was thinking of putting it in the skull, but if these things went like insane pricing, I'm going to save it for another custom down the line. But if they're still fairly cheap, then I can use it. So I was thinking maybe paint the sword black and throw it in this skull here. But I don't, like I said, uh, I do know sometimes stuff like this is like limited. And then once they're really hard to find, they go skyrocket in price. Because I would like to use this for another Wonder Woman custom down the line. It's heavy. You know, it's a really heavy uh, letter opener. And it's perfect scale for her. It's just that, I think when I got this, it was only like 20 bucks. Uh, but if, you know, like I said, if they're hard to come by... I'd rather save it for something else. I mean, you can make a mold and a casting of it, though. I guess I could do that. But I really don't want it. I think I used one of these for my other Wonder Woman customs. I forgot which one it was. It might have been the Wonder Woman War, I think it was, I did, from the animated. Uh, so when I remember when I saw them, I bought like uh, two of them because you never know if you can use it again down the line. I don't think I have any uh, stuff in the um, box of parts. Yeah, if you guys are ever building a custom or you want to put a sword, um, sometimes you just look up letter openers and they have tons of different swords out there, heavy metal, they can be used. They're around $30 now, eh, it's kind of expensive. I'd rather hold on to it for another project. Because I mean, we already built up the axe for her, I thought maybe adding a sword here would be cool, but, you know. I'd rather save it. $30 is a lot for just a sword, you know? Yeah, 30 is too much just to put a sword right here, you know? And I know you could 3D print one, but by the time, you know, you scale one up, you print it, shipping, pay the person to do it, it's kind of act. If I had stuff in my box of parts, I would do something, but I don't think I do. I'll look real quick. Now I got like, I got just tons of parts of stuff. I do have this sword. 
what I could do is I could break this off and make it uh, make a sword off of that. And I got an axe from an old uh, old DC statue. It's a Wonder Woman shield from the premium format. I think that is right. I think that was the one. Got extra bats for Harley Quinn stuff. Yeah, but molding and casting is expensive. I mean, I do still have some mold left from when I made the uh, shin guards, but I need to use that for something else. So that's expensive. Lock swords. Forget what sword that is. Um, maybe we could do that. Somehow get that off, glue it onto that, and then have this sword on there. What about that? You just throw that like right there and it's just a sword. Not like official Wonder Woman sword, but what the hell? Okay, why the hell not? Or trying to think I mean it is Wonder Woman um, from uh, Black Lantern so we don't need to have the W right so we can make a different sword here with a different handle you know just so we just make up a different handle for it instead of using this. Just put a bloody sword here like that. Like I don't even have to really even paint this. Just leave it as is and just make a handle. I think that would look weird anyway on that, right? I'm sort of, uh, kind of let, the, I gotta let these pieces cure up, so I'm kind of, like, at the stopping point right now. Alright, so... I'll just make up a shitty handle, put some rope around it, same rope that I'm going to do around the uh, axe. And then um, just make it look like a... Just make it look like a, just a 
basic one-handed sword. Thought I had more of that tubing. Yeah. Damn, I am out of that tubing. I used to have more. Oh well. Alright, let's uh... Yeah, when we get to painting, we'll uh... We'll um... We'll go a little bit crazy. I think I'm gonna add some blood to the axe as well. So I'm thinking... Let's just make a shitty handle. We'll wrap rope around it just like we're gonna do with the axe. Because I don't have to worry about anything holding this, so it's just going to be placed here. So basically we can just put, cut this down a little bit. Let's see, where the hell is my marker? I don't have a smaller one anywhere. Damn it. Alright, what do you think? Let's, uh, so if her hand... It's always fun to find uh, stupid shit in my box of parts. Um, alright, I got an idea. Since, uh, Rukin uh, said death, I'll show you what we can do in a second. But let's, uh, so if this is the hand, what do you say we just have the bottom of the handle right there? Just a basic one-handed sword like that, right? So we're going to cut it off there. Um, but, uh, let me find the parts, hold on, bear with me here, I have it in one of these containers. Okay, so you guys remember the sideshow, uh, which I'm gonna call it the sideshow, uh, maquette, Adam Hughes maquette, um, mystique? Well, I have a lot of her sashes and I have the skulls. So, what we could do is we can put a skull like there as well on it. So, there's different, well, I'll, I'll cut up the smaller ones, you know, like these smaller ones, we'll put a small one, because uh, unless I have the larger ones, it would work. So we'll have a skull on the sword. Simple, it'll look pretty cool, a little extra thing to the base. Just going through boxes of parts and finding random crap. So, sound like a good deal? It'll look like that on there. Yes. So, I will 
work on some skulls try to get them situated and we'll put it on there down the line No, I don't have a lot of jewelry. I got a box of heads, I got a box of hands, I got a box of random parts, and I got another box of semi-good stuff. Uh, but I need to go through all this shit and throw it away because there's a lot of stuff in there broken and smashed. So... You can even you can even put a rat on her base. I got a rat. You could put uh, goggles here, like it's Catwoman's goggles. But since she doesn't really fight Catwoman that much, I don't really think it would work. But we could. I don't know. What do you think? Goggles on there, like it's Catwoman. Put a boomerang here like Captain Boomerang, but that doesn't work. But actually, I want to save these goggles in case I do a custom down the line. It's the only pair I have left in the box. If I had more, I would do it, but I don't. So I'm not going to go that crazy. So I think we'll just stick to the sword and that'll be it. Yeah, I think a, a good base for her, like if a company made her, would be like, you know, take some of the DC characters and make it like the skulls and, you know, uh, I could see that working. If I had like a batarang in my box of parts, I'd put a batarang there. Um, but that yeah, lines up pretty good. That glue all over this. Let's see if we can sand it down a bit. I mean, the only thing, if you go with the storyline of Wonder Woman with this, uh, it wasn't all the other superheroes, Black Lanterns too, so it kind of defeats the purpose that she killed the other Black Lanterns or something. I don't know. You guys might know more than me. I think I got more Marvel stuff than DC stuff. Yeah, but the only problem with the Superman cape is I don't have anything like that, you know? Um, and I'd have to get fabric and I have to do it, because it would be better with actual fabric, which I don't have. I mean, I have red fabric, but I don't have the symbol. I think uh, we're kind of 
going off topic with the character now. <laughs> Killing off Superman for some reason. I don't know how we got to that point. I think I'm a little tapped out on uh, outsourcing 3D stuff for a while. Gets kind of expensive. Don't forget we changed the hand too, so I had to get that done. Yeah, I used man, like I said, down the line I'll do it. Not right now. I kind of, I enjoy doing what I just did. Going through a box of parts and finding random crap and make something out of it. I kind of like that. That's the kind of fun I have with this stuff. I know 3D printing is just boom, boom, boom. But I like kind of taking junk and making something weird. Saving parts. I don't know, it's kind of what I've always liked to do with this hobby. Actually... that would be too big to put that on the bottom if I go in the garage real quick and grind this down I can just squeeze it right into there all right let me try and grind this down real quick
You know what? We're gonna have to just glue it in, squeeze them back out on me. Iceman's like a 3D pusher. He must be a show for the 3D uh, companies. I know your game. I know what you're playing at. Oh, you guys are talking about that uh, new announcement. I saw a video earlier on that. That's kind of funny. why uh I don't know why you would want to buy new comic books these days The reason why I put Aves in there is just to strengthen it up. Because not bad to have a little solidness to it. I forget what swords these go to anyway, I don't even remember. All I know is they were just in the box of parts. Okay, so see, some old box of parts, some glue, and we made a poor man's sword. I'll go right there. I'll just uh, let it cure up. We'll add some rope around the handle. We'll put the skulls on it once I get the skulls situated. And not bad, right? Simple, stupid, and it works. My ice man, it's more of a it's more of a junker. Get some old junk parts, put them together, and boom, you got something made. So let's put her together. Uh, got the axe going. The axe on her. Just gotta wait for the other hand to come in. It to fall. I just gotta drill out the skull a little bit more and just keep falling out. At least it's holding up pretty well. Let's get this kid. 
and we're down here. Go back a little bit. All right. So if you have her like that on your uh, shelf, got a sword here in the skull, got her axe. We got her hand up there, which we're getting the 3D print uh, coming in. We're working on her sashes. And I guess the only other thing after the sashes and her knee pads, let's put her knee pads on. Uh, I was like, oh, we got to do the black uh, lasso around her waist, which is going to be just simple rope. So this is pushing this out a little bit. I gotta gonna have to tweak that a bit probably. Yeah, since I took down the knee uh, shin guards on the sides, they look a little better. A little bit more wrapped around her leg now. Hell yeah, Iceman, I'll be the guy building the crazy vehicles from all those parts you find scattered everywhere. You know, you have like forks sticking out of the car door and shit. Alright, so what do you guys think? Looking good? I think we're, uh... I think we're there for a uh, crazy uh, Black Lantern Wonder Woman. Yeah, so far this was a fun one. This is a... Uh... I love that the base is streamlined. I like bases like this, you know. And the only thing that sucks though is her hand comes out far from the base, but that's it's not the end of the world. It's gonna be fun painting her up though. Alright, so, should we pull the cloth off Harley Quinn? Uh, but before I do, I asked these guys on uh, Picardo this week. I am working on this for somebody. And I'm just kind of curious, like, is there more Star Trek fans than I realized? So this is the old Sideshow uh, 7 or 9. So somebody's cloth got really mangled up. And um, so uh, we're, we took off the cloth and I'm rebuilding it. Uh, I still have to build up the chest. But is like Star Trek stuff like really popular out there? Like the guys that I didn't see talking to chat this week is like seven or nine like a really popular type of a character. Because I know they said that she is, but I'm just kind of curious of anyone else in chat. Because I never really thought to make custom statues off of Star Trek characters. You know, I know Star Wars is really popular. Uh, but I never really thought about Star Trek stuff, really. Just kind of curious, in case down the line I get, like, a broken statue and I can make, like, a, you know, a captain or a, a lieutenant or whatever Star Trek is and kind of, like, follow an outfit. But I've been uh, tweaking this out, though, uh, kind of working out the stomach and everything. I just, this is where, this was built for the cloth though, so it's a little bit weird.
Yeah, I'm just kind of curious. I like I wasn't sure if um you know Star Trek is popular. I figured, yeah, because that's what everyone was saying, so. Yeah, that's true, Raccoon. That's what I was thinking, you know, like, if I ever found a statue, you know, that I can make, like, a Star Trek, like Raccoon just said, you know, um, I thought maybe that might just be something I could keep in the back of my head. Not that I'm going to do it, like, next week. It's just, I'm just thinking, you know, adding it to, like, a lot of the other stuff I need to do. Hey, Jacob, how's it going? Hey, yeah, we're just, uh, we're doing some weird crap today. That's kind of what we're doing. My floor is a mess with all my parts, so... Alright, I'll, I'll keep that in mind down the line. If I ever come across a statue and I want to make a Star Trek character, I'll uh, maybe uh, venture into it for fun. Because I know Star Wars is, you can make anything with Star Wars and people go crazy. But, yeah, so Wonder Woman, I think we are good. So once I, uh... Clean this up, finish these uh, sashes on her, and we have a uh, weird looking sword. Now my other question for Star Trek, uh, like I asked the guys, if you were to do a Star Trek custom, would it have to be the actor? Or could it be, like, just a random character? Like, I don't know Star Trek enough or fans enough that they were like, I have to have the actor on my shelf. Or do they have to just have their character, you know? That's the one thing I don't know about Star Trek too much. Like, if you just, like, say you take this Wonder Woman statue and you put it into a raccoon said like, the skirt and go-go boots... Uh, but it looks like uh, just a superhero uh, Star Trek with some with Star Trek fans like that's awesome I have to have it or like well it doesn't look like the actor I don't want it See that's what I'm thinking the actor has to be more important so like say um Yeah, see, Star Trek's different. I, I, I can't, I don't, I can't gauge Star Trek enough to, like, Star Wars, like you said, you can make a Jar Jar, you can make a, you could turn Wonder Woman into a Sith Lord, and Star, Star Wars fans would love it, you know? But Star Trek, I guess it has to be, um, the actor. But Iceman would know, uh, Iceman would say, you can, I did look online, and they have, like, every actor's portrait, so you can print out a head for the statue, which is cool. Yeah, I don't think you could just make a random Luke Skywalker. That would just be a random uh, Jedi. Um, but like, alright. Yeah, I'm just kind of... You know, there's just so many animated characters and cartoon characters I want to do, but it's always hard finding the statue for the character. Alright. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for some statues. But would you say 7 or 9 is the most popular one, though? Like, out of all the Star Trek uh, characters, would 7 or 9 be, like, the one? Yeah, 
Yeah, see, I, I never watched uh, Star Trek. I've only saw the movies when I was a kid, and I've saw the recent movies like a year or two ago, and that was it. I don't know much about Star Trek at all. Yeah, Iceman, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if I find, like, a really cool-looking statue, and I want to try my hands at a Star Trek character, I could just 3D print the actor. All right, well, that's good feedback. I appreciate it, guys. You know, I know comics. I know uh, animated characters. Because uh, you go on DeviantArt, and you can find out what's the top character that month, you know? Um, but as far as venturing into some movies like Star Trek, I don't know much about. Star Wars, I have a general idea, because it's everywhere now. I just know Star Trek and Star Wars fans hate each other, so. Alright, we're going to put Wonder Woman aside and we're going to bash up uh, Harley Quinn. First, as far as Harley Quinn, like I said before, patrons are going to be uh, voting, uh, coming up with some random ideas. On the stream, we're going to pull all those ideas out of a hat. We'll pick out like four, and we're going to see what the hell we make out of her. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to keep this head, because uh, I like this head the best. Uh, I'm going to actually take off the jester hat and get a bare head going. Because uh, we'll probably be sculpting hair or something else on there. I'm not really sure what, what we're going to do yet. Um, except she just doesn't have ears. So I'll have to add ears onto her. Um, and then, uh, like I said, whatever vote wins, we can utilize the bar here. And we could always take this off and do something else here. Now, the way they did this was uh, they, z they put the body on with a zipper. There's a zipper back here. I'll show you. And what, what they did is they glued this on top. So if we get the screwdriver, I've done this so many damn times. It's not really in there too crazy. Okay. It just comes right out. So that's what they did. They just kind of put the body there. They added some glue, and then they just glue that on. And that's how they did that. Now, the reason why I don't like sculpt on full body is because they did a good job on this, but look how much of the waste that it doesn't show. Like, this waste is just, it's all just, there's just all this here that could be done on the waist, see? If it was tighter like that more, it probably would look better. So what they normally do on these is they glue the shit out of this one. slap some glue on the top here. The other ones I've done usually just pop right off. Alright, so see it's a zipper in here. So what they usually do is they zipper it up 
they, they put her up on the body, they zip her it up, and then they glue it. I, I like fabric to a point. You know, I mean, sometimes the fabrics work and sometimes they don't. Now, this zipper is small, so I want to keep it. Because if I split it right now, uh, it'll be a nightmare to get back together because the zipper piece is gone. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to keep the zipper. And we're going to use this split exacto blade. It'll probably slice my finger, but I like to keep these zippers. They're, uh, it's hard to find these really small zippers because um, I could use it for other stuff. So it's, it's a little bit smaller than the bigger zippers I buy, but it's definitely bigger than some of the really, really small ones. But something like that I can use for a statue down the line, so it's good to keep it. Now all they really did is they, they glued the feet to the bottom, so they just kind of put it up like an outfit. And then they just glued it around, so they stretched the hell out of it. That's probably why this kind of is weird in areas, because they stretched the shit out of it. You just rip it off, they glued it on there, and they glued it here. Now the reason why they spray painted here is because when the fabric stretches, you don't see the skin. Because if you, if you see it over here, you see the skin. So that's why they did it on the chest. Yeah, I have no clue what the hell you guys are talking about with the Star Trek stuff. I never watched any of the shows. So, I'd have to do some more research on that stuff. Now, I'm not going to pull all the cloth off now. i got to do that later because I'll slice my fingers. I'm not in the mood. Um, but you can see the casting is absolutely crap underneath. You know, like, like underneath here. Uh, this is where they attach the arms. Like, look underneath here, it's a mess. Because uh, this is actually a little bit wrong under here with the booty. Like, where the booty ends and the crotch ends, it's wrong. So this has to be fixed. But, yeah, it's kind of... That's kind of where we're at right now with this one. Let me just cut this off. Yeah, YouTube will probably get uh, upset over this, but who the hell cares? It's just the statue. So what I'll be doing is between now and the time we vote, I'll try to use extra A's. I'll use some of my A's actually right now. Just to show you where I would do. And whatever we uh, whatever we choose, I'm not doing a crazy base for her. We're gonna keep her either on this base or uh, just do a uh, smaller base, one or the other. I'm not going to, going to focus more on her. So you see how this line here is just kind of crappy? It's like a really shitty uh, casting. Because this, this is where they split the mold. So when they popped out of the mold, they just grinded it and that was it. So what I like to do is... Whenever I have extra A's, just kind of go over these line areas. So when I go in and I start sanding her down, I can actually 
get rid of it. I could put putty there, but the putty is crap for, like, deep stuff like this. It's more for just scratches. And this takes, like, a few seconds just to sand down. It's not the end of the world. So there's a huge cast line going down this leg. Like even on the booty here, there's like a big chunk of resin there and they just left it in there. That's the only thing that sucks with cloth. You know, the only cloth item I pulled off that wasn't bad casting underneath was the Catwoman statue. That's the only one I've noticed that is really well sculpted and cleaned underneath. This one, they really didn't give a crap about this one. Yeah, these the the first couple run of the DC stuff was really bad. Uh, the Batman and Superman's leaned. The Wonder Woman actually, since they what did they make like uh, like thirty five hundred of her or something, or more actually like sixty five hundred. Her legs were all casted and warped. I think they were just using the mold so much, so there was a lot of casting issues with the Wonder Woman. Uh, this Harley is just crap underneath the uh, cloth. The Catwoman was good though. The Catwoman, I mean the cloth was bad, but the sculpt itself was good. So the Catwoman sculpt is amazing. The cloth was absolutely horrible. And you can see this huge casting line coming down her leg here. So this was where they split the mold. So they just pop out the mold and they just grinded it and then that was it. Ivy wasn't bad though, Jacob. I have to say Ivy, well, the paints were very bland, but the Ivy sculpt itself was pretty decent. I have to rework her booty and crotch on here and just get her prepped up. So if I can have her all set for when we start working on her, we'll be in good shape. So you guys who are in the Patreons, if we work on her, do you think we should just keep this base or should we just do a smaller uh, base, just a round simple circle? What do you think would look better? Because I figure I can try and prep it when I make some other stuff. I've worked on this Harley shit I don't know how many times now done so many Harleys it's crazy probably like almost 20 by now think a smaller base Raz I can just uh, when I once it gets warmer weather and I make a I gotta make a base for another item I figured I could just cast up something for this too and just get it set up right away.
Yeah, the wood paneling's okay. It's just that she's high. And, and Jacob, whoever, whatever Harley we make, it might not work for that character. That's why I don't want to focus on a base for her this time. I want to just uh, focus on a weird-looking Harley. Just a simple base, and that'll be it. No, Iceman, we don't know what's gonna we don't know what this Harley's gonna be yet. For all I know, someone might vote for a uh eighties uh workout outfit or somebody might vote for a construction worker or someone might put in a vote for Harley Quinn as a crossing guard. I don't know. Whatever the hell we come up with and wins, that's when we'll know what's going on. But I think just a simple base. would work fine. Yeah, like look at the the casting here. Like this is all just grounded up and chopped up. Cause I figure if I make a simple base, I'll just throw this on eBay to offset my costs more. I mean, if I do make a smaller base, um, I could always have it etched too. We, like, we could do an etching on it. Um, that would be as far as I go on it. Because I actually do have people that want some more Harleys made off of this statue. Everyone loved uh, uh, the Psycho Nurse I made. So I got people that want nurses made with different versions. Yeah, so... This crotch is not lined up with the booty at all. They think they did that for the cloth, which is actually smart. By having it higher, and when you put the cloth on, it actually is where it should be. Um, if they had it lower like the Catwoman, it would sink down too much and it would look weird. Yeah, I like the nurse one too the best. That one was a lot of fun. So I'll probably end up doing more nurses down the line. But, you know, so I have to, you know, work out the arm area here. Um, and also, one thing that you don't realize is her chest is actually cut down. Because when you put this here, that's sort of where her chest and the collar is supposed to be in a sense okay. sort of I don't know so anyway the neck and the, the chest and collar area is actually supposed so this has to actually be built up a little bit more and that's what I did on some of the others Harley Quinn's because this collar piece is sort of where the neck should be Yeah, a uh, cop would be good. Um, you could do a, a, a chef, you know, like a cook chef. Uh, you can do um, a crazy cop would look good, you know. Raccoon, have you narrowed down any ideas yet or are you still kind of brainstorming?
And also her wrists too got to be reworked because they had it for the cloth. So you see it wobbles now. So those are some things. So you can see how high the neck is without that collar. So I have to rebuild a lot of that. I could save it for the streams a little bit here and there. So if I'm uh, kind of caught up on the streams, I could do it. But on the side, I'll kind of still get her prepped up. Still the best Harley sculpt head I've ever seen. Still my favorite. No, the shoulders are not big. It's an illusion from the lack of uh, the collarbone. Like because the collarbone is not there and the neck is not there, it looks uh, it looks off. It's it's just an illusion right now. Yeah, a Sailor Moon Harley Quinn would be funny. So, like, if you picked Sailor Moon, um, we would sort of follow the outfit, but we would do the red and black, you know? Uh, we could do the ponytail, um, but we can give her a shorter ponytail, you know? You know, what we'll do, like, I think what we'll do, we'll do a couple steps. We'll have everyone vote, we'll narrow down the vote, we'll vote again. And then when we vote on a character, what we'll do is we'll kind of brainstorm some mock-up ideas. So say if, Har if Sailor Moon won, we'll, you know, we'll kind of follow the outfit, but we can make it a little bit skimpier. Um, you know, we won't have to, you know, we won't do crazy, like, skirt, maybe a little smaller skirt, you know, kind of, like, you know, like what they did with, um, the Power Girl, where she dressed up when she was teamed up with Power Girl, and she had, like, her superhero Power Girl outfit. We could kind of do something wacky like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So if a cop won, we won't do like an actual blue cop outfit. We would do sort of like an outfit, but we'll do like a red and black split cop outfit, you know? That's kind of the idea. Yeah, like say, um, when you put her collar on there, it sort of looks correct. So it's sort of, it's not perfect. I'm going to really uh, tweak it up a bit. It looks a little bit better once you get the collar on her, you know. You sort of get the neck and everything there. It only sucks though, because whatever we decide... We have to utilize our arms like this because you can't really tweak the arms because our torso and rib cage and back is tweaked for the arms being back. So that's the deal. But all right, I think that's where I'm going to cut the stream for today. Uh, I won't be streaming next weekend because next week I have to pull my house apart. And get everything in the studio and garage because I'm having the floor done on the 11th. So by next weekend I have to start ripping up all the carpet and get everything out of the house. So I probably won't even stream on Picardo. So I'm going to be gone for a little while. 
But with that being said, though, uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for the feedback on the Star Trek stuff. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, keep uh, if you guys are on Patreon, just keep on thinking up of ideas, brainstorm, and then when I make a post, we'll uh, we'll start coming up with something for her. So have a good weekend, and I'll see you after my floor is all done and I'm back on track.